Today we're talking all about shoes. This video is brought to you by our patrons and all those who have purchased from the Inspired by Nikki store. Thank you. I want to welcome you if you are new and hope you will consider subscribing to the Inspired Daily to make the everyday beautiful. And many of you are here because of my wardrobe videos and you like to see subscribers closets, etc. And so I am going to be sharing another subscribers closet with you today and it's a beautiful one. So if you are interested in that, please stay tuned till the end. But today, let's start off with talking about shoes. So if you've been with me for any length of time, you know what my go-to shoe is. It is a nude or a blush pink ballet flat. Those are just my ultimate favorite kind of shoe. And my favorite brand is the Kate Spade. And I also love a couple of different variations of what she's done, but there's one that she no longer makes that I have been trying to get whenever I can find them on Poshmark. So that has been such a money saver for me because originally the shoe is very expensive. I've never paid full price for them and nor will I as well as the fact that I just love them. So they're worth it to me. I do pay a little bit more than maybe you would find in Target, something like that for a ballet flat. I used to buy my ballet flats from Target and I was so sad when the patent leather, kind of like a roundish toe one that I used to purchase, they stopped making them. It was a really sad day for me and that is one of the tips that I would give when finding a shoe that you love is to buy multiples of them just because you never know when they're going to stop making a shoe that you really love. I will probably for the rest of my life just love a really nice ballet flat. Thinking back on my grandmother's shoes, my grandmother on my father's side, she always had very similar shoes. And I would look at them and just think, doesn't she get bored of wearing the same kind of shoe over and over again? And it was kind of like a ballet flat, I would say. It, would, it had a lot more support than mine have that I wear today, but they were just, they looked really great with the outfits that she had. And my Grammy, however, was the complete opposite. She loved really bright sequins, sparkles, and all of that good stuff on her shoes. And it's just kind of funny, you know, the way that we are about our shoes. I would love to know in the comments below, what is your favorite shoe to wear? Do you wear this shoe every single day? Do you look for multiples of them? You know, what brands sell similar ones? And let me tell you, recently I had to go with different brands just trying to find replacements for these ballet flats that I've been wearing for a couple of years now. I just feel that I found the perfect one. So when a company kind of does like an alteration to it, the new and improved look of something, you know when you just feel like, man, if they would have just kept it the same, I could just keep buying these. But of course, you know, everybody wants to make improvements or redesign something. I would just love to find a company that keeps their shoes the same so that I could find a shoe that fits me well and that I love and that I could just always have available. So since that, since I haven't found that or a company that does that, I have been searching Poshmark for different things and I think that it's important to know the key phrases that you're looking for when you are searching something that you love so much. So my inspiration, I would say, is definitely from my ballet days. I loved point shoes and just ballet shoes in general. I loved what it did to the legs, it elongated them, and just how it made the dress the main attraction, as well as, you know, of course, the movements of ballet, right? And what the body does, but it's, it was always the costume of the dress. And so I take that with me even today. It's, it's all about the dress and I love the dress to be the main attraction. So I do love variety in my dresses, but my shoes, I like to be very understated. I like them to look polished and neat and 
clean and pretty and I love the little tiny details about beautiful shoes but I don't want it to be what the eye is drawn to so that is why I go with the nude or the blush pink ballet flat all nude is not created equal right everybody has different skin tones and so those shoes that are often called nude they can be a variety of different tones and i would encourage you if you are looking for a nude flat or a nude shoe that you understand what your undertone is and what color would be best suited for you because i can't tell you how many times a shoe looked really great in the picture and you think that it's a certain tone but then once you get it up next to your skin it just doesn't work out for you so that is something that I have been concentrating on more recently, was just shopping Poshmark. I've even searched the internet for different things, but I feel like I come up short on the style that I'm looking for. Now, I've found a few recently from Poshmark and that I just love. I love different aspects of them. I know a lot of them with wear, they become more comfortable because, you know, when you're breaking an issue, especially a ballet flat, it's not always Always comfortable at first but um, just finding different shoes that are similar to the ones that you already love will be helpful when you're searching for something to kind of replace that so I can't tell you how many times I have purchased the Kate Spade scalloped edge bow ballet flat but it has just I've probably I'm probably on my 20th pair right now because I can wear them every single day but they do tend to wear over time especially the pointed toe part it can get creases in them um, the leather around the outer the the outer leather the leather itself wears out it looks really scuffed I mean I can just really wear these out so I have been purchasing them recently I went up half a size just so that I can still get another pair of them because I was starting to feel like I'm not going to be able to wear my favorite shoe pretty soon because of how quickly that I've been wearing them out. So these are the ones that I'm talking about though. They are an, just an absolute favorite of mine. I love how thin they are in the foot because I have a more narrow foot. And of course with wear they, you know, widen out and, um, but, and the tips tend to wear off especially, but um, they are just an all time favorite. Another design that I am just in love with and probably because it reminds me of Barbie shoes are the flats that have the V right there. It's so elegant to me and once again, just elongates, add a nice, it adds a nice detail. These are um, just a wonderful design. I will have to wear them a while to break them in, I know, but it's more of that soft leather. I've gotten away from the patent leather that I used to wear every day. Those were great when I had the round toe because I could keep them looking nice for a long period of time since you could really wash them off. And then recently I also got a pair of these. These are by the brand Report. Um, this is more of that faux suede and it has that bow on top. So that's a detail that I really liked as well. They're a bit bulkier than I'm used to. So like looking down at my feet, it was just like, oh, do those look really weird? But um, they're still really pretty to me. I love that th this is cut out right here because then I don't worry so much about how how narrow my foot is because then it feels as if it has a better fit just because I'm not trying to fill in the side. These have been a shoe that I have been saving for days that maybe I'm going out with the girlfriends or something and I don't want to wear my everyday, you know, scuffed up ballet flats just with what happens, especially if I'm running low on my Kate Spade ones. Usually I would keep a pair that were really nice and then the ones that I would wear every day to say drop off the kids at school or to do my everyday tasks in. I mean, for those of you who watch my cleaning videos, you know I'm always wearing my shoes. 
So these are neat. The only problem with these is the color difference. So maybe you can tell that they have a bit more of a peach undertone, like a yellowish tone to them than the Kate Spade ones that have more of that pink undertone, which I just feel looks nicer up against my skin, as you can see right there. So like I said, finding that right shade is what's important when you're talking about ballet flats that are a nude tone. If you're looking for something that would really elongate your legs, don't ever buy a nude tone that just clashes with your skin. It, it's just not as pretty of a look. So if you're going for that more polished look that you know, really elongates your legs, go for something that is a better tone for your skin that matches it. So aside from my sneakers, I would say every single shoe that I own is pretty much a nude or a blush tone. And I love it that way. It doesn't feel like I'm missing out on beautiful shoes or anything like that, but that's just me. Now I would feel completely different when you're talking about dresses. So I would say know thyself, know if all the different, you know, a variety of shoes, a rainbow of shoe colors is what's important to you, or is it the dress that you're wearing or the outfit that you're wearing that you would rather have stand out? Or do you just like to, you know, draw attention to everything? Know yourself in that as well. So every single Sunday, I like to wear these Aldo heels right here. These are just an absolute favorite of mine. Um, I've had them for years and I also, this is actually the brand new pair that I haven't broken in yet, but I'm still wearing the Aldo heels that are the exact same as these. Um, I've been wearing them for years and I love them and they have just been working out well for me. I feel I've broken them in really nicely. And, um, but I did buy a second pair for when those other ones wear out. I feel that by the time those wear out though, because I only wear them Sunday mornings, I feel that by the time those are done and have seen better days that I'll probably no longer be wearing this size heel. I'm just saying, you know. I mean, you never know, maybe I will. I do have some, some shorter heels that have, you know, it's more like a sandal. Um, those are great, but they're just not as comfortable. I feel that there are different things about shoes that I find bother me. So like something around the ankle can often bother me. I don't like something rubbing and I'm just very particular. I have about a two hour window on those shoes. If it's going to be any longer of a length of time or if I'm going to be walking at all, I've gotten smart. I bring my flats. I don't want to be that uncomfortable with my shoes. Now I also have a wedge that has been really great as well, just to look a little bit more dressed up, but to um, you know be more comfortable. But even those, after a few hours, can become bothersome. So that is the thing that I would say I don't compromise on as much anymore like I used to when I was young, much younger was, you know, just the comfort level. So I am all about the ballet flat. I think that it's great. I saw in a recent video someone did talk about how the ballet flat is out now. I don't think so. And I think that there are going to be different things that of course are not going to be as trendy, but I'm not looking for the trends. I'm looking for something that suits me, something that I think is beautiful and that I love, and that will last me for years to come. Now, um, you know, there are people that do chase the trends and that want to be on top of all of that and will give you all the advice about what's out of style now and what's in, but I'm just here to encourage you to find your style and stick with it. Don't listen to the trends if trends aren't for you and feel confident and comfortable and find what what you find you reach for most of the time. If you are sitting there thinking, okay, what's most beautiful to me? What do I love? What do I feel most comfortable in? And not a kind of comfort that is, you know, like a really relaxed, oh, I'm at home all day kind of a thing. And so I'm just going to wear my pajamas, not that kind of comfortable, 
but what do you think is beautiful and then you can find ways to bring in comfort like I did with my ballet flats because that to me is most comfortable. I feel good on my feet, but I also feel pulled together and like I love what I'm wearing. So again, let me know in the comments below if you found a shoe that you absolutely love, that you stick with, and um, just the design of it. What is it that you love about it? So I hope that you enjoyed this portion. Now let's get into another subscriber's closet. Today I bring you Amanda Scott's wardrobe. She says that she has a capsule wardrobe, which is small, but she also has a dressing room where she hangs her slips and nightwear. She loves everything that she has, and where she is, this was in May when she sent this to me. She said it was coming into win winter, so she mostly wears dresses, but she also has a long navy skirt. So I just think that what she has done with this space is lovely. I love the color that she used on the walls as well as that really beautiful wallpaper. So thank you so much Amanda for sending in your closet or your wardrobe. It is so beautiful. I love what you've done with this space and that color on the walls is gorgeous as well. I hope you were all able to gain some sort of inspiration from me sharing my shoe collection and what I find to be beautiful. And then also from Amanda's closet. Thank you so much, Amanda, for sharing, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.